Chill. The parallels that exist between both the rapper 50 Cent and the original 50 Cent are ironic to say the least. This candid profile clarifies many of the myths that surround his much maligned exploits and the sketchy details that led to his untimely demise. Or sometimes he have some little guys little than him. I remember one guy he had, they called him um, 25 cent or something. Somebody little than him, he had a little dude with him. Every time I saw him, he, he was by himself or he had followers. He had people that were basically, get my coat, come here, dude. And he had followers or he was moving so fast by himself. If he came through the projects, he never came through here with anybody. Gee, He's come through with, by with, himself. With, with, with mad niggas. Nice. Come through by himself. Word. I never saw 50 with anybody. Anytime I saw 50, I was so by himself. Never. Yeah. Never. Wow. And you know, back you know back then, back in the 80s, you come to the niggas' projects, you coming like, especially if you coming to see a chick. Whoa, you know what I'm saying? Back. Especially like that chick might not be fucking with niggas in a project, so a nigga from outside the project. Wow. Like, you know niggas be mad about that. Stupid. You never got no female from nobody. How did Calvin end up with the name 50 Cent? I don't really know how he got that name 50 Cent. But, um, I expect he got it because he was a short guy. Because he was little. I think he got it from Kim Stice. He made a better. What's good, y'all? Today's gangster profile is about the original 50 Cent. His name rung bells so much that a Queens dude by the name of Curtis Jackson named himself 50 Cent, which is something I respect because a lot of black people be naming themselves, you know, different names of people that's not even a race. Not that there's something wrong with that, but I respect uh, the rapper 50 Cent. For taking on um, a legend, legendary stick up kid named 50 Cent. You know, so this dude, Kelvin Martin, was in the original stick up kid, an original stick up kid. And y'all can see, you know, at the end of the day, what this lifestyle gets you. You see his tombstone here. You know, this is this is a lesson. This is a lesson. This is why I'm. Um, Bringing this out, this is why I'm doing this um short profile on the original 50 Cent, aka Kelvin Martin, to show the kids like, yo, this is where your body will be, you know, when you choose this this street lifestyle. So make the right choices, and when you do make that choice of being in the streets, whatever comes with it, you got to charge it to the game. So that's basically um what this is about. And why I do these short profiles. And it's, you know, it's just good to remind people. Peace. when he came on the streets, he might have got into it deeper. Because in the 80s, Wild Sinners was like the Crips and Bloods is now. It was like something to get into. And some people took it seriously. And some people played with it. That was a thing to do in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? It's either you're on, you're on the left wing side or you're, or you're on the right. Or you, you're rocking with the right. You know what I'm saying? You try to change your life and you try to do things that, you know, coincide with being righteous. But, you know, 50 got to, he, he come down to the mosque want to rob somebody now. Knowing him, was like, you know, he was a wild guy, like crazy. I think because he was short, he figured he had to be wild and crazier than anybody else to get respect. His thing was to be at the person that everybody else thought was so much. That was the way I think he gained that respect because those same people that were respected on the other side, that's what he went at. He was the kind of guy that like a lot of hustlers would be hustling. And because he was wild, they would have 50 under for protection. Yeah, like the most notorious cats that, that get respect out here, you know what I mean, on some body and nigga shit or whatever, like he has them niggas on the country. So, that little dude. That little dude. I remember 
We had a party. Everybody from Brooklyn was at the party. And 50 was standing out by the tree with a mask on. And I came around the tree. I said, 50, come on, dog. Don't nobody know it's you. You're the shortest dude around everybody. And you, and you got a black mask on standing behind the tree like nobody don't know it's you. Nah, Eric, I'm going to get these dudes right here. Yo, 50, come on, dog. We ain't come for all of that. Everybody else might have.